terrified of ovarian cancer and you just want to be screened for it, what to do? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about this one. Ovarian cancer is really scary and one of the biggest reasons it is nerve-wracking is that by the time a woman gets symptoms, usually they have a more advanced stage of ovarian cancer. So what can you do to be screened? Well, here's the answer that you may or may not like. There is no magic screener. We can do transvaginal ultrasounds for women where we look for abnormal changes in their ovaries and there are certain specific characteristic looks that we look for to see should we be worried, but that in itself is not a diagnosis for ovarian cancer because ovaries do some funny looking things very commonly. Then there is a blood test for a biomarker called CA125. This was thought to be the slam dunk to say, hey, if it's elevated, you have ovarian cancer. But guess what? A CA125 is elevated in lots of conditions that cause inflammation, like colitis, endometriosis, pneumonia. All of these non-ovarian things can raise your CA125. So again, not particularly specific. The best that we have is combining the ultrasound and the CA125, but we generally only recommend this for high-risk women. If we used ultrasound and CA125 for the general population, you would find we were doing many invasive things for very few women where we would actually find something. There are some other more specific biomarkers and they kind of get developed every few years. And in conjunction with these other two tests, they might be helpful in the high risk population of women who carry certain genetic risk factors for ovarian cancer. But the punchline is there is no magical screener for ovarian cancer in 2024.